This is a quick video showing how I got the Logitech G920 working with Star Citizen. In testing, I could only get the game to see either the wheel or the pedals, not both at the same time, and it wouldn't see the H shifter either. The solution was to use Joystick Gremlin and VJoy. If you've never used either of those software, I suggest taking a look at Red Lear's Getting Started guide and other videos on Joystick Gremlin. I will include a link in the description. The idea here is quite simple. To combine the wheel and pedals into a single virtual joystick device. By default, the pedals sit at 100% when idle and move to zero on full depress. Gremlin doesn't show this until you actually press the pedals. After trying a few options, I found the game worked best when combining two pedals into one joystick axis, which is then bound to the single forward and reverse option. I used the throttle for forward and clutch pedal for reverse. Whilst the game does allow you to bind forward and reverse separately, the results were sketchy at best. Quite often, the vehicle would continue driving after releasing the pedal. The game binding for braking doesn't accept a joystick axis. So for this I turned the brake pedal into a joystick button. You can see the raw input from the wheel and pedals on the top row with the VGO outputs below. The wheel will try to return to center. You can adjust the strength of that in the Logitech software itself. Each time you start Gremlin, you will need to press both pedals to get the axis working correctly. The first time I press the pedal, I get the wrong output on the virtual axis. Once I press the second pedal, the axis corrects itself. I hope you found this video useful, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the verse.